definitely one of them. And he's still new to me, especially in the past. Uh, in case anybody's wondering, like, I know Bass has his DQ today. Uh, Ready? So that's unfortunate, but nonetheless, the show must always go on. I've never heard of Poultry Dust and Thoughts, so if you know anything, Strike, you tell me. Mm, I just know. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Definitely what, one of the things that I'm somewhat still a little bit unfamiliar with. It's, it's just because I know that like Yoshi Nair, Yoshi Nair sticks out, like it's a really good move to stop Fox's recovery. Yoshi Upper is a whole different train wreck because that's already a dead Fox. Yeah, Fox is just super light too, so yeah, he's, he's really going to get blown up by a lot of these Yoshi moves. They're just incredibly strong. In general, like even heavy carries can die pretty early to Yoshi. Yeah, the amount of damage that Yoshi does is pretty scary, but also like Yoshi commits a lot of those aerials, so it's up to like fast to be able to use Fox's fast movement and neutral game to be able to just get around Yoshi effectively. Yeah. We even just saw it too with uh, Poltergeist getting the double jump armor on the, the up air. That's another thing that Fox isn't going to be happy about. Yeah. Oh, oh no, yeah, that fall. Oh. Okay, a lot of characters have good down tilts that send you at that angle if you hit it at the ledge. Like, uh, it just helps that Yoshi also has that super amazing forward air hitbox <laughs> can spike. That forward air hitbox is not fair. Like, it's, it's ridiculously not fair, but nonetheless, Fox rapid jab. See, that's what Das has to keep going. He has to really play this hit and run neutral, and then as soon as Yoshi commits to an aerial, which Yoshi you know, will eventually have to, you can punish Yoshi for that ash. So that was really good up tilt, but really good awareness of how Yoshi ended up in front of him. So that's the grab. Good patience out of the shield, but unfortunately, Das gets a situation. That, okay, I was going to say, well, yeah, save your jump, yeah. save your jump. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fall for his skin. Yeah. Still, this is a lot of pressure. Honestly, um,. Yeah, he really has to see if he can, you know, bait these aerials out from Yoshi and then take advantage of that amazing parry punch that Fox has, but he's so light. He's so light. That forest man is going to kill Fox so early. <sighs> Honestly, Fox. the thing about Fox is that he feels like a shadow of his former self. So he's like one of those characters is just like, cool, in hindsight, this character should be good as he was in 4, but online it's just a whole different beast. Yeah, it's very impressive that Thass has gotten this far with Fox online because I just think it's really difficult in Ultimate to do really well with Fox in delay just because he gets so much reward from tech chases and, of course, parries, which are really hard to get consistently online. And I think especially in this matchup, that's going to be very important. Uh, if he can't really punish Yoshi's aerials, like... Effectively, he's not going to be able to do much to avoid getting overwhelmed and dying really early. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens in this game. This is still, still best 2 out of 3, so... Yeah, that's that's the harder thing about ladder 2, is that it's best of 3, so you you essentially only have two games to make things work. So it's literally do or die for Thas. But like I said, as long as he keeps that good movement that Fox has in neutral and then use that to his advantage against Yoshi, Eventually, you'll be able to get Yoshi to get a commitment. And even then, I haven't seen... Even though he hasn't closed the space to use for lasers, that's also another tool he can have, especially at the distance, is to force Yoshi to make those approaches. Like, after that Nair, it's a cross-up Nair, but you can see that Thas still can get the punish afterwards. Yeah. Great down smash, take chase. Oh, he's also not blocking these eggs very much. <laughs> Gotta finish those, but this is a good a chance for reset here. Yeah. He didn't get the parry, but at least he's showing that he's not letting like Poirier just land into him with aerials anymore, as he much as much as he did in the previous game anyway. Oh, that was close. Yeah. yeah, doesn't want to go into the stage at that point. But oh, dang. when he saw that Poirier's commit to that double jump, I thought he was gonna back him. That's just a really good thing to do against Yoshi. He's trying to aim for it there with the down smash. It's barely missed. Uh, yeah. Poirier had a good recovery. And then good double jump mix up their own thas, especially if the ledge is really important. Oh yeah, he almost got the punish there on the direction of air dodge. It's a little too late. Oh well, yeah, watch the get up, because if Yoshi would have got a tech chase reset, that would have really hurt. That's kind of giving the tell that he's looking for a narrow smash here. 
attack away. Yeah, yeah. nice, nice. Now that was my shield. shield. It's yeah. good to go for dash attack just because it's your yeah, opponent's at the ledge, right? It lasts a little bit, but like I said, a lot of Yoshi's moves just have a lot of commitments. So you have to be really careful, especially at the ledge. Double Big up there. Mm. Close. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. The, it's. Oh, dang! What a chase. Actually, but uh, yeah. Actually, with that dash attack he went for in the first stock, since he was at the ledge, he couldn't get crossed up on shields. That actually made it able to get up smash. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he can set up that situation again. I was trying to try a shield in general would be, really be good for a uh, fast here. Okay, is he gonna drift? Okay, nice mix up on the landing. It looked like he was gonna drift to the other platform, but he did the direction like that too. Down air, okay, oh. gets the jab here. Poltergeist trying to, yeah, that's good for Poltergeist because he's always trying to amount for the usual, the only recovery options Fox has, and then just stomp him out with that. That's what we talked about earlier. It's like Yoshi Nair is so good for catching like Fox Illusion, Fox Fire, so it's really difficult for Fox to recover sometimes. Good patience after the Nair though, still like, you want to take your time to slowly come back towards center stage and get stage control. Oh, oh, oh. oh nice, not nice. Not enough though. Yeah, but great poke with the down there. Nice spacing for that, but there's that command grab. What is he going to mash out with? Oh, okay, the illusion. Not a bad choice. Yeah, because he still gets, yeah, he gets stage control back again to Nair. Yeah, he waits for it. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, it's a... Uh... If they're not ready to punish it, you can do that illusion of shield. Yeah, we, but Fox too light. Even the weak Nair is enough to kill that. Yeah, and that's the thing too. That Nair is so good. It's just the last yep. hitbox that can punish Fox illusion and Fox fire. So it makes that's that's what we saw Das go for that jump. It makes him really consider like, should I be going? Should I immediately go for the recovery or do I just follow the jump first? So you have to give him credit there. So far, Das has been doing an excellent job. Thirty-four to eleven, but you know he's brought this closer than last game. Very patient play in this uh, game too from Fast. I think he's really helping him out. Oh, that was good. That was good. And he double jumps again for the mix up on the shield. Just to, just good awareness there. Trying to open up Poltergust. Double jump again. Yeah. Easy, easy mix ups you anybody can do at home, man. It's like cooking at home. He just want to use a double jump mix as much as possible. Side B to get to the other side. No back air. Thas is looking for this opportunity. Oh. Gets the nair to the down air. Nice. And good for damage. Yeah. He's not overcommitting very much either. I like that retreating there. He's not able to get like a... Oh, never mind. There it is. <laughs> I was going to say, he's not able to get a up smash from that, but he found the opening anyway. Okay, that was a much better game too. He actually changed up everything he needed to uh, win that one. Yeah, I you think... You just got to slow it down with Fox Online, honestly. I think that that's what it is. I think some characters in Online and Offline are very different. I think Fox Offline, you can play this character like very rushed down, very very execution heavy, and then online you're kind of like, all right, cool, let me get a hit, let me back out. Let me. I think Fox online has to play more footsies than Fox offline. Yeah, I agree. Uh, at least at a farther distance anyway. You can still kind of play like that footsies game with Fox very effectively um, offline, but since the movement's a little bit more fluid, you can, you can fight much closer without wrists and you can like you know on reaction get parries and things like that yeah and that's really important too so i, I think just some characters online i'm starting to realize like they have to shift their game plan and sometimes the other game plan that they have isn't really well suited for online but uh whatever game plan Thaz had last game which was what we talked about it's definitely one thing he wants to continue here in game three i mean poltergeist starts off really strong but if Thaz keeps that game plan from last game i think he should be well in the money but you know poltergeist man he's Made a name for himself yeah, so far, good. especially in the week three. Yeah, I know in this match right now, I can already see Polygos. He just doesn't want to set up that situation again where Thaz has more space on the stage to kind of like play that more patient game, like hit and run style. Yeah. He's just trying to completely uh, <laughs> keep him in disadvantage as much as possible. Don't really give him a lot of uh, opportunities to feel comfortable. Yeah. I have to commend Thas though, he's been doing really good on those double jump mixes up mix ups, but sometimes the best mix up is no mix up and I think Poltergeist might have slowly caught up on that so far. I didn't oh stop asking for the profile. You guys will see it on Monday, I promise. We'll see it on Monday. I promise you guys will see my profile picture on Monday. I love how the chat just continues that. <laughs> oh, I wait, promise on Monday. Much. Okay, Thas is like He's been under a lot of pressure, but he's staying so patient. But, oh, you didn't get the poke he wanted. Dang, if you got the poke for that down there, it might have been enough to get the up smash to kill. Yeah. Oh, he got the berry, but he wasn't fast enough to turn around. He's got Poltergeist at kill Ooh. percent. Mmm, the normal tech. Unfortunately, really tough spot. Up smash the back hit of that will send out Poltergeist and really off the Ooh, stage. Big man. damage. That downer is juicy for Yoshi.
Yoshi's downer has no business doing that much damage, man. It hurts. So right. tilting. Yeah, this is a situation where he's behind, but he can't afford to overextend because of how light he is. He just has to try to find the kill. Oh. Yeah, you had to dash a little bit farther mm -hmm. at, at this percent for but, down arrow smash. And, and in that regard, like, that's the one thing I want to see Thas keep going up. Like, last game, he was just going Ooh. for very strong hit and run hits. He would get in, get out. But this time, he's playing a lot more commitment with his follow-ups. And I feel like that's... It's really hard to get him. He's either very much dropping them, which causes him to take the percent that he's taking now, or he's just off by an error. So yeah. we'll see. But now look, he's looking for the footsies game. That's what I want to see him come back to. Yeah. A again, he's playing pretty good when, uh, you know, he's close to dying because he just recognizes <laughs> how strong <laughs> and how Yoshi is and how light his character is. Oh. That was actually good to get on the back here, but he's still in a terrible spot here. Yeah, he is in a very rough Nice. He uses nice. the illusion to drift to the ledge. And Tech that's chaser too. 75 percent this is do or die for us he has the opportunity to actually bring things back like i said keep it hit and run back oh. oh no you can see the starting frames of back air but yoshi yeah. up to man yeah yoshi's up air is really strange in the set of your box no poke here oh you're rolled out but dang he's still getting mm. hit the, pr the platform pressure is kind of crazy for poltergeist right now yeah, finally oh. back here. No, no, oh, no. Oh, he did it again. <laughs> no, no, I missed us. Oh. 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 You know, we don't want everyone to see it go out like that, but Poltergeist was actually super smart to do the second egg lay. 